Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the role of database administrator in DBMS. When we talk about the data, it's a very, very valuable resource for an organization. This data can be translated into information and information can be used for decision making. And the data is used by different people in different department for various reasons. So when we talk about database management, it must address the concept of shared data, data security, or in turn, I can just say that the DBMS should facilitate interpretation and presentation of the data in the required formats, distribution of the data and information to the right people at the right time, the data preservation and monitoring, control over data duplication or we have always told that redundancy, uh, controlling redundancy, data security, concurrent access, all these facilities are expected by the DBMS. Now when we say this, there should be someone who is responsible for controlling of the uh, database, the shared database and the access rights. So when we talk about that person, he is going to be called as database administrator or DBA in short. So when I talk about DBA, the functions of database administrator can be distributed across the database lifecycle. As you do see here, in each and every phase of DBMS lifecycle, let it be planning, design or all through the final stage of training the users. When we talk, the DBA's role is very, very important there. The planning includes definition of standards, procedures, the protocols, the enforcement, everything. When I say design, it is both gathering the information, providing the conceptual design, making the logical, converting it into the logical and the transaction design. Then the physical design and implementation. When I say implementation, creating the required tables, indexes, triggers, whatever is the database object, testing them for its functionality. Okay, And once everything is done, going for the operational phase where you are taking care of installation, migration, all these maintenance, including the server installation, individual workstations, everything comes into picture operation so that making it functional and finally even the tra training and support for the users of the database and monitoring the quality and everything is also part of the function. We will see them how he has to, the DBA has to uh, undergo or otherwise uh, perform these actions in various activities. Okay, When we talk about the activities because DBA is the focal point or uh, we can say that the interface between the data users and as well as the data, the interaction between the data and the users. So he has to enforce the procedures and standards to be used by the programmers in their work because unless and until there is defined standards, everybody uses it, it in, in their own way which will uh, lead to any kind of conflicts and things. So DBA is basically responsible for uh, defining these standards and enforcing these procedures and protocols as well as managing and monitoring the database. So when we see the users, end users, they can be programmers or as you see there in the slide or the diagram there, the end users can be programmers, they can be managers or clerks. When I say programmers, they are responsible for writing the application program and the DBMS interface. So DBA has to verify whether the application program and the DBMS interface is in line with the usage of the DBMS and the data that is stored in the database and the rules and standards and protocols what he has defined. Is it trying to follow or satisfy all those things that has to be verified by the DBA. When we say end users are clerks or otherwise the uh, final users of or the managers who monitor the things, we say that they are going to use these application programs as an interface between the 
original data stored as well as providing it to the user. So, they will be using these application programs as the interface. So, remember DBA is responsible or has stands as a mediator between these two things that is ensuring the right usage by the end user as well as right data providing by the databases. So, when we talk about the roles of DBA that can be categorized as the managerial role and the technical role. In the managerial role, it is about coordinating and monitoring allocation of the resources, whether it is the people or the data. So, defining the goals and formulating the strategic plans for the administrator's functions because basically he must con concentrate on controlling and planning dimensions of the database administration, especially when we talk about the database and handling. Now, nowadays we are talking about distributed operation. Things are available at multiple site users across the globe are using and the server administration, everything becomes very, very important. So, he needs to ensure this particular uh, role of uh, coordinating and monitoring everything. So, when we say that managerial role, that can be categorized basically under four different domains. One, end user support. When we say end user support, the DBA interacts with the end users by providing the data and the information support services to the different organization of the department. Let it be gathering of the user requirement, building up of user confidence or resolving any kind of conflict or ensuring quality or integrity of the data, managing and training, all these things whatever is required to the users will be handled or supported by the end user. Next, we say policies, procedures and standards. This is a prime component for a successful data administration because there should be policies in place, procedures and standards should be maintained to and ensure that it is continuously enforced for correct data creation, usage, distribution, maintaining the integrity. Okay, all these things are very important. So, when we say policies, it is nothing but the direction or the action that communicates the DBS goals. Procedures and standards are going to be the written or standards we can say this is the minimum thing that has to be ensured. So, you have to follow this, you cannot come below this. Procedures are written instructions like we can call it as the action statements or otherwise the protocols which has to be followed in order to uh, perform or when you are performing the activities, you have to follow a certain plan, strategic plan that is what is going to be the procedure. So, these has to be very well defined. So, that we can ensure the perfect functioning. Next comes the security, privacy and integrity part. Now, distribution of this database across multiple sites, we say global access has made the data maintenance and integrity as well as security a very, 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 very critical part. So, DBA must team up with the security experts, not only the regular office activities, but it should be across that is why internet security expert and build the security mechanisms to safeguard the data and also from different kinds of attacks, the cryptographic concepts what you have learned will also come into picture, not only uh, in the previous class about when we were talking about data control language, we were talking about permissions or privileges provided. This can safeguard the data from users who are accessing, but across the network when we are talking, there may be malicious attacks where people uh, or malwares can be used in order to track or access the data. So, we have to ensure that even the security me mechanisms for web security is also included. So, the, these all things become the role of the DBA itself, ensuring that security in every aspect is followed. Then finally, the data backup and recovery. 
so when we talk about backup and recovery which has been a very very integral part of your dbms we must ensure that the database is recovered even in case of physical data loss or loss of the database integrity we have learned this recovery concept so how will we ensure this because sometimes it may be a partial loss where in between the transaction it has lost so we are only saying that the integrity of part of the database is lost we have learned recovery mechanisms but sometimes it may so happen that there may be a total loss the database itself is lost entire data physical damage things like that so we should have backups for everything or alternates for everything so dba must ensure periodic data and application backups backup identification then the convenient safe storage so because we are saying total disaster or total loss disaster management comes into picture it has to ensure recovery management comes into picture when we are talking about partial loss where maybe in between transaction power failure so we have seen that we have to revert back and things like that but when uh, total loss is there we call it as disaster management where maybe from the backed up resources from the safe storage we try to get it back so whether we are talking about the concurrent access personal access everything or maybe even the physical matter financial matters like insurance coverage the recovery plans priorities of recovery all these things has to be defined by the dba so this is all about the managerial role of the dba coming to the technical role it is not enough if he talks and monitors if he uh, ensures that things are in place but what has to be done for it to be in place so that technical part is also actually the responsibility of dba when we say it is a responsibility dba will perform it as a leader so he has to ensure that these works are distributed and he gets it done through the team so as a part of technical activities it will be selection of the softwares the installation the operation maintenance upgrading all these things along with the development implementation whatever we spoke earlier of application programs also the database as well as the application program that interact with the database now let's try to see what are these functionalities again the categories there can be the area of evaluating selecting and installing the dbms and the related utilities now this role is the basic role wherein you are supposed to uh, zero down on which software has to be taken and what supporting hardware has to be used now this selection plan is again based on the organization's need and the features like the model the storage capacity backup and recovery concurrency control performance portability cost all these things now what kind of application you are running what kind of support do you require how many users are going to access the database simultaneously then what is the cost factor is the organization ready to spend that much all these things comes into picture keeping all these points in mind he has to give a right solution discuss and come out with the right solutions for software related things then comes designing and implementing the database and the applications when we talk about it there will be dedicated people who works on the database creation as well as the application creation and they have to for sure ensure the quality and integrity of the database putting recovery and uh, integrity atomicity whatever is the asset properties we are talking putting all of them in place then the supporting services uh, whether it is correct transaction or efficient things anything like this say for example maybe taking user feedback and based on that making the changes all these things should be a part of design and implementation task of the uh, dbs technical role then of course because we said in the functions if you remember in every phase of the database life cycle dbs role will come so after designing the things now comes testing and evaluating of the database so he has to provide the reports and uh, ensure to get the reports of 
testing and evaluation services uh, both for the database as well as the end user application. So, it will start by loading the tested database and the database contains the application. You try to test it through the application, check for the data if definition and integrity rules, all these things. It is across all as aspects of the system, whether it is technical or otherwise even including the documentation part, observing the quality is maintained, the standards are followed, uh, duplication conflict should not be there validation rules, everything, each and everything will be included in this particular role. Now comes the next phase that is operating the DBMS, the utilities and application. Everything was created, tested, we are confirmed that it is all fine. Now you have to put them into action. So you have to see to that it is installed and it is in the working condition, operational uh, availability. Then you have to provide all the system support there, performance for uh, the functionalities, monitoring and uh, fine tuning the things whatever, whenever it is working, the backup and the recovery scheme, the security, the auditing, the monitoring of data access, all these things, log based uh, activities whatever we are saying. Then comes training and uh, supporting of users in this particular phase. Already the documentations of the DBMS and the applications are available. You have to see to that the users has to be trained on it. So the DBA provides technical training in the use of the DBMS and the its utilities for the application programmers. The end users has to be given with the manual or something like that so that whenever they get the doubts they will be able to refer back to that. So maintaining that also is a part of the DBA's activities. Finally, maintenance of the DBMS, utilities and applications. Wear and tear of uh, environmental aspects will be there, then periodic updations needs to be there, the policy changes may also have to be implemented by slight modifications to the software or otherwise the uh, physical, what do we say, the effect of environment on the physical devices, wear and tear, what we say. You have to see to that the damages made due to wear and tear has to be taken care by replacing the hardwares or whatever it is. So, upgrading of the softwares depending upon the current requirement and the current policies, maybe migrations and con uh, conversion of the incompatible formats because in the market every new day you see a new software coming up, better applications coming up. So when we talk about all these things, we have to ensure that all these things are kept in phase and everything is moving, going fine. So remember on the whole, when we talk about database application, the DBA has got a very, very critical role there as a manager as well as as a technical service provider. So, this is the last topic that we are discussing in DBMS and with this we are closing the sessions on DBMS. So, hope you have had a very good experience and learning experience especially and the things, the resources provided were all useful to you. Wishing you all, all the very best for the final closing of this particular subject and your upcoming examinations. All the best and thank you.